So this is battered snapper with fries, a nice little oh. salad. What is that? Um, tartar. tartar sauce and, and a wedge of lemon. I thought that that was an orange. Oh, was it? <laughs> no, because it looks like an orange. It is actually, yeah. Well, I can't wait to tuck into this. Tell us about it, Paul. Well, this is the second largest and most popular island in the Haraki Gulf. Waiheke is the wine capital of Auckland and is also known as New Zealand's Islands of Wine. That's why you wanted to go. When we arrive on the island, there is a hop on, hop off bus that you can take the whole way around and it'll leave you at all the various spots, including the wineries. Now you could stay on for a full tour and we might do that. It takes an hour and a half and at least that gives you some sort of perspective mm. as to what you might want to do while you are here. But you are advised to spend at least a day here, including the ferry time, which takes about one hour from downtown Auckland. We have just left Viaduct Harbour area behind us, right in the front, in front of the HSBC building, and now we are heading off to Waiheke Island. Look at the magnificent skyline. inside if you prefer not to be out with the sea breeze. sure how long the trip is um, it's, I think minutes? it's just less than an hour shouldn't it be like about 40 minutes something like that I know that the bus is going to meet the ferry when we get off and also the good thing is that there are toilets on board should you need them well this is bad news I just come into the toilet and I, I seem to have locked myself in and can't get out just have a look at this really elaborate door locking system. So it says that when the handle is in the up position it's locked and when it's in the down position it's unlocked but the thing was when I opened it it's in some sort of weird sliding system a bit like on an aeroplane. So I think what I'll do I'll leave it locked 
do my business, and then try to get out. Right, this should be fun. Let's see if I can get out. So I, it says unlock, lift, so I've lifted, and turn handle to open position, which is down here. Oh my God. I have to say that was pretty frightening because I was locked in and couldn't get out at the start. And I just said this vision that the, the boat would sink and I'll go down with it in the toilet, but I survived. Wow, look how lush that little hill is. It's probably a uh, volcano, I would imagine, because all hills around here seem to be volcanoes. So we are waiting for the Hop On Hop Off Explorer bus. Oh wow, look at this. Ducks and geese. It's feeding time. Little birdies as well. Look, everyone's coming in for their breakfast. Our bus has arrived, the Explorer hop on, hop off. Uh, we had to ask someone at the office where we got on because there are no signs for it. So that's something I think should be looked at. A signpost would definitely help. So uh, by staying on, you have the benefits of seeing the village for flight. Just as we round this corner, some of the shops there's your free accommodation for this evening. Uh, trip advisor reviews aren't that good. Well, gelato company on the right, serving the best gelato in Auckland and coffee as well. And as we head down the hill into the village proper, great views opening out on the left to Oneroa Bay and the beach. Bus driver said, this is Wanatangi. This is one of the best beaches on Waikiki Island and I can see why. It's magnificent. Welcome to Wanatangi, the longest beach on Waikiki. You're on the northern coast of the forest heart of the Walk Waikiki Network. 
From here, you can either enjoy this splendid beach or traverse the island's green centre, linking to walks across the island. Are you going on the beach? Yes, I'm going on the beach. Jeez. Welcome to Wanatangi. Oh my God, isn't this fabulous? This is a paradise, for sure. It's an absolutely golden sand beach. The bus has dropped us off for just a few minutes, so let's take a quick look around. Well, it's, it's warm to the touch, look at this. This is real golden sand here. Wow. This really does remind me of Port Stewart. Sand is rather soft. However, it does harden as you get further to the shoreline. Obviously, with the tide, it has been here more recently than further back. Also at Waratongi is a Charlie Fairleys, which looks like a pretty good eatery. Your time is up, Paul. Time to reboard. No, he'll remember you. We are at the highest winery in Waikiki. This is called the Batch Winery. Wow, so at altitude, if you're drinking the wine, you'll get drunk pretty quick, I think. Faster because of the altitude, I guess. But there are some absolutely fantastic views from oh here. Oh my god. And the driver on the bus was just saying Seven that you minutes. can see the, the CBD from here as well. So oh, wow. Let's just have a look. You know what time it is, don't you? It's time to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. Come on, hit the subscribe button. You know you want to. We had just got off the bus at Honoroa and spotted a little shop that sold t-shirts, knickknacks, and caps. Socks. Socks for Paul. And I thought, oh, I've got to buy a cap because I didn't bring one with me because I thought, Why well, not? well, I thought the sun wasn't going to be strong enough or there wasn't even going to be any sunshine while we're here, but I've already burnt my head once. Me too. Yeah. And we are wearing sunscreen today, but I thought, you know, why don't I get a nice cap as well? Suits you. Thank you. Onoroa is one of the towns on Waiheke Island and it's where there are lots of restaurants, lots of shops and also a beach. It's just coming up to lunchtime so we are on the hunt for food and I think as we are so close to the sea it's got to be fish and chips or maybe... Oyster? Mm-hmm. Well a lady in another shop has just complimented me on my cap and she asked where I got it and I said, just in the shop down there. She warned us though about the ozone layer here. Apparently it's quite thin. So you do have to be extra careful, which we weren't at the start. The sun can be quite deceptive. It is actually a quite strong today, but even when it's cloudy, you've got to be careful. Yep. Speaking of which, ah, look at this. It may be windy, but it actually feels quite nice 
I am wearing my puffer jacket, but it does feel quite warm. You can see the sea from here, and there's a lovely little area just to sit with beautiful flowers. So we've been doing some shopping at the Waikiki Central Supply Company here in Onaroa. And Paul, you got a couple of pairs of shorts, didn't you? And a t-shirt. I got two t-shirts and you also got a cap. And the guy was really helpful and told us about other things that we could see around here. But the clothes are like really high quality. When yeah. I put on the t-shirt to try it, it just which size? Ah, uh, well, oh, you, we don't discuss sizes on this show, Paul. It just felt so soft. Well, it, it just slid on. The quality of it was fantastic. It's like a pair of shoes. Ah, yes, perfectly fit. Indeed. I really love this sculpture of the penguins taking a selfie, and it is called selfie. So it says selfie. We're not locals, but we think this is paradise. There's golden sand, aqua marine sea. It may sound a little bit windy, but actually it's just a bit of a breeze. The water is relatively gentle. So what are you looking at, Paul? Okay, so the view from here is the northeast view over the Haraku Gulf, which shows the protection of the Great Barrier Island and the Karamanda Peninsula. It makes it such a sheltered marine playground. So it's basically like an enclosed little area, maybe. The view is absolutely stunning. Mmm, time for lunch, and I think we're going to go to the local, which is a fish and chip shop. Well, I think I'm going to go for the snapper and chips. It's tiger beer batter, the local housemaid tartar with zesty slaw and lemon. What about you, Paul? Same? Same thing. And what are you drinking? Sparkling water. Ah, no alcohol for No you. alcohol because I'm having some later. And look at the view we have got from our restaurant table. It's lovely. So this is battered snapper with fries, a nice little oh. salad. What is that? Um, tartar. tartar sauce and, and a that. wedge of lemon. I thought that that was an orange. Oh, was it? <laughs> no, because it looks like an orange. It is actually, yeah. Well, I can't wait to tuck into this. What did you think of the snapper? Really good. It is better than the cod. Yeah, and the home. batter was really delicious as well. And you couldn't beat the view. And the, uh, the guy in there was so helpful as well. He brought out this massive chart, which it's showed China. us where we were in relation to uh, Auckland. And also, he asked Barrier us, Island. yeah, the Great Barrier Island. He asked us, he said, what's that island over there? And it wasn't an island. It was part of the North Island. Great question. Yes. But it gave us a good idea of exactly where we were. Here's the Waiheke Community Notice Board. Let's see what is happening. Waiheke Comedy is presenting Butch Kennedy and the Surf Deal Kid, <laughs> a weekly improvised soap opera. That's interesting. Cirque Deceive You. Excellent. What's on at the cinema? Ooh, lots of films that I haven't heard of. Oh, but there's Barbie and Oppenheimer, of course. Self-defense classes, artworks theater, drivers needed for meals on wheels. If you need some assistance or help, you could go to the Citizens Advice Bureau. A nice bench, look at this, for Terry Bull Comedy Club. 
We have got the island grocer over there. What do you think so far of Owenora? I love it. It's got such a villagey feel. It's, it's just so calming. quite a lot of money here haven't we? We've got lots of clothes and we've had our lunch and now we're going to take a walk down to the beach that you will have seen a little bit earlier. Uh, Paul, do you know what kind of tree that is? No. Me neither, I'm stumped as well. <laughs> I think I see berries on this tree, I wouldn't eat them though. A lot calmer now in among the trees and I hear the waves crashing. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to the walk up again. We're going to be walking Which back. we have to do because it's the only way down and the only way up. Oh, I think I'll need the seat on the way up. It's a zigzag path down to the beach. Wow, look at this. Now, what's the easiest way down, do you think? I hear doggies barking. Just as before, the sand is pretty soft here. But then it does get harder as you walk out towards where the tide has come in. It's Brand. Hello. <laughs> well, we're having to leave the beach now because we are on a very tight schedule. We are on the tour bus, of course, and there's only one every hour. So the next one is at 3.07, which is in about half an hour from now. But it's going to take us a while to walk back up that hill that we just came down to go to the beach. And our next stop is going to be one of the many wineries on the island. Well, we've just got off the tour bus again, and we are now at the Wild Estate, one of the wineries. Now, this one has got various activities outside, including archery. Mmm, something smells nice. And there is smoke coming out of the chimney. What do you think that is? Wood. Wood-fired wine? Maybe. Do you think this is just food? <laughs> the lady sat next to me on the bus. Did she say that she was car sick? Yeah, so then I was like, then why the hell are you sitting next to me? I thought she was gonna be sick. Well, it, no idea. Well, the guy at the Wild has said that if we want to have a look at the vines, we right. should walk between the wineries, which is what we're doing now. And we On should pizza? end up at Hecke, Hecke, yeah. which is a brewery and also distillery. a whiskey distillery. But look at this. This is nice down here, too. The moat or yeah. the body of water. Uh-huh. Easy seven minute stroll. Wow. I'm out of breath already though. Oh, look at this lovely little bridge. Oh, yes. Welcome to Tantalus Estate. This is a working vineyard. So we have to walk towards the bell tower over here. Oh, look. A little path has emerged. 
this is taking us through some marvellous gardens. Watch your step, Paul. It's now turned into like a gravel path. Wow, look how tropical it looks, Paul. Right? I've been to some zoos that look like this when you walk through their jungle area. And there are descriptions of some of the trees. This is the Kanuka, a white tea tree. If you need a rest, there are some chairs sitting out. What are these? These look like palm trees or something. Yeah, it's something like that. Like within well, that it's family. Some type of fern as well. This is definitely a fern here. Fancy going on the swing, Paul? Not at the moment. <laughs> and look, there's a wood burner over there. Maybe they make pizza outside. Is that traditional Maori poles over there? She said to head towards the clock tower. The bell tower. Oh, oh, we went down there instead. It was nice though. Yeah. It looks like Hecky is open. I hope so. Because I need the toilet. Oh! And it's rather difficult terrain around here. Look at this. You know what, Marcus? I think maybe this worked out for the best because I was in the mood for whiskey, maybe. Well, I can see the distillery uh -huh. ahead of us. Welcome to the Hecky Thirsty Thursday. Well, it is Thursday, is it not, Paul? It is. In you go. Well, the sun is about to set on another day and we've had quite a nice time on Waiheke Island, finishing off at Heka. Is that how it's pronounced? Heke? Heke? I don't know. Oh, by Heke, where we had one beer. I had the lager and you had the... Series 1 whiskey as well as an APA. So how would you sum up your day on the island? Oh, it was really, really good. It was, um, it was very illuminating. I love the scenery. It was magnificent. Oh yes, I think the highlights for me were the beach and the fish and chips. You forgot about the shopping. Oh yes, the shopping, and we didn't Jeez. even show you that. <laughs> well, we will be showing you in our next haul. Oh yes, our yes, next yes. Shopping haul which I think that you might find very interesting. Oh yes, I think you will. That means that we can't take the labels off or wear them till we film that. 
<laughs> we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.